you see the initial screen here. And in this tutorial, we'll just review quickly the menu items. So the main menu items that you'll use are the patient. You can plan an initial regimen for a new patient who has not received a drug before. If you have previously saved a patient file containing information about the past history, drug doses, drug concentrations, weights, etc. on a patient, you can uh, create one here or load a file that's previously been made with this menu item here. You can also launch the patient data entry program past Rx for past therapy directly here. The other tab that you'll use or menu item that you'll use frequently is the pop model and this allows you to load population models. Task allows you to fit a model to data which means that you will update the post the population model to an individual posterior model specifically for the patient that you're trying to manage. And we'll go over other menu items in another tutorial. Plot allows you to control the plots that you see. Effect allows you to um, play around with pharmacodynamic models that are included in this version of Right Dose, as well as Sphere, which is another pharmacodynamic model. Advanced gives you access to options to control different modes of fitting and optimizing doses, allowing you to switch between the straight multiple model mode, interacting multiple model mode or IMM for changing parameter values, and the hybrid Bayesian, map Bayesian MM mode to attempt to fit patients who are not well described by the model. window and help are not used uh, much about right dose will give you the version and the expiration date however as well as a reprint of the license agreement okay in the future tutorials we will go over entering patient data planning initial regimens for patients who have no uh, uh, experience with the drug who are getting it for the first time uh, as well as other items that we've covered here